everyone, my name is Garka and today I'm going to be reading you Lazy Mama by Vidya Pradhan who is the author and Bohit Kalka who is the illustrator. This is a level 3 book. Let's begin. Knock knock, Amma opened the door. Ragu Mama, Anisha and Sony cried giving him a big hug. Ragu Mama was their mother's only brother. He always told the best stories and brought them the most interesting presents. But there was one problem with Ragu Mama. Ragu Mama was so lazy that he could sit in his chair for hours and hours reading or watching TV or just sleeping. He would not do any work around the house or even go to the market to buy groceries. Amma was fed up with his laziness. So Ragu, said Amma, planning to spend your holiday in your favorite chair as usual? Oh no, said Ragu Mama. This time I'm going to explore underwater caves, climb tall mountains and chase tigers in the jungle. Where, where, exclaimed Amish and Sony. You want to come too? Ha, said Amma, what a joke. Ragu smiled mysteriously. The next day, when Ragu Mama was in his room, Amish and Sony overheard him talking to someone. Wow, he was saying. And then, that's amazing. A little later, oh no. The children burst into his room. What happened, Ragu Mama? Ragu Mama was in his favorite chair wearing a pair of big black goggles. There was no one else around. Sony and Amish exchanged a curious look. Is everything okay, Mama? Amish asked, staring at the dark goggles that hid almost all of Mama's face. Ragu laughed and took the goggles off. Here, try this, he said to Sony. What is it? asked Sony. The goggles were so heavy that she had to hold them with both hands. Ragu Mama carefully put the goggles in Sony's face. The goggles were dark and she couldn't see anything at first. Then he pressed a button. Suddenly, Sony was in the ocean. There were colorful fish all around and she turned her face to the left and saw a big turtle swimming beside her. It was so close, she thought she could reach out and touch it. When she turned her face to the side, Eek! she cried as a huge shark swam very close to her. Let me see, let me see, said Amish, trying to take the goggles off as stunned Sony. It will be your turn next, Amish, said Ragu Mama. I have just the adventure for you. Amish put on the goggles and Mama pressed another button. Ooh, I can see herds of cheetah and langurs. Amish was in a thick forest of full trees. He could hear different bird sounds. When he looked up, he could see a flock of geese flying in a V-shaped formation across the sky. It feels so real, said Sony. When I wore the goggles, it was as if we were swimming underwater. Yes, said Ragu Mama. I guess that's why it's called virtual reality. Sony was confused. But doesn't virtual mean not real? She asked. How can you have reality that's not real? That's a really smart question, said Ragu Mama. We call it virtual reality or VR because it makes you feel as if you're watching is real. So it is almost real. Help, cried Amish. A tiger is about to eat me up. Ragu Mama laughed. Don't worry, you're quite safe, he said to Amish. It's like watching a movie, but better, said Sony, excited. Exactly, said Mama. When we watch movies in a cinema theater, the screen is only in front of us. When we wear VR goggles, it feels like the movie is all around us. So, do you want to spend your summer vacation exploring virtual reality like me? Asked Ragu Mama. Amish took off the goggles and thought for a bit. I think I prefer the real reality, he said. But why? Asked Ragu Mama. I saw a juicy mango in the jungle said Amish, and now I want to eat one. I can't do that in virtual reality. I want one too. Both of them ran to the kitchen. Wait for me, said Ragu Mama, right behind them, finally off his favorite chair. Thank you.